Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Now today I'm delighted to bring you the beautiful face of George Alberts. George, how are you doing today? I'm, I'm very well, thank That's you. That's fantastic. Nice to now, be here. I've got lots of questions to ask you. The first and foremost, what was the most memorable Rangers goal out of all of them, all of the 58 league goals that you scored? What was the most memorable for you? Well, I think I've said it uh, uh, many, many times, but obviously uh, the first goal against Celtic. Getting nearer, heart is pumping, thoughts are running wild. The first goal against Celtic? The free kick that, yeah. that sticks out. Of How did it feel to score against our old firm rivals? Well, it's, it's something special, you know, especially when the teammates uh, explain the situation before the old uh, firm games and all the stuff. Uh, you know what it means to the support as well, oh, yeah. and then it makes it special. Did it then become such a big part of your life too? Did you become a Rangers fan? Of course, of course. You know, the, the, the thing is just now uh, in Germany, you hardly have any footage of, of the Scottish League, mm. so that's very difficult for of me, course, so yeah. I need to relate on... Uh, on, on friends, uh, I'll, I'll be on the phone, but obviously they are really biased all the time. So it's very hard to judge any of the of the games or the players for me just now. I see. And could you quickly sum up what it felt like to play against your firm rivals? Was there that hatred that is very much uh, embedded into the the rivalry in the game? Did you feel hatred when you played against them, or did you feel passion? Well, uh, I think in the beginning, where uh, a lot of the I, I was um, unfortunate, uh, I was fortunate to play with a lot of the Scottish boys. So and, and I think the rivalry was there bigger mm. than after the change when all the foreigners joined Rangers as well. But obviously everybody knew how important it is for the support of as well. Course, yeah. And you, you tried that little bit extra to win these games. And uh, you, you mentioned here that the Rangers had a lot of talented Scottish players. Now, who would you say was the best Scottish player in the team at that point in time? Because we had a, a handful. Well, obviously Barry, Barry made, the, made his uh, uh, way anyway. But for me, the most talented player which uh, a waste as well, as he asked me, was Charlie Miller. Charlie yeah. Miller. Lovely guy, but we know we brilliant, all know how that ends. And and uh, what a fantastic football player. Cross the ball into Brian Laudrup's head to set up that nine in the row goal too. Perfect. Now we all know that you played with Paul Gascoigne. Yeah. Could you give us a little story about Paul Gascoigne, or uh, give us a bit of insight as to what made him that? football character, he's a well-renowned player with every club he went to. Well, I think Paul, uh, well, we don't need to talk uh, about Paul football-wise. Yeah, he was, he was a genius, fantastic. A genius. Uh, and uh, for me, uh, you can't meet, an, uh, meet a nicer guy as well. I, I remember uh, the first day I joined Rangers and I went into to Ibrox, uh, he came towards me and he said, well, listen, you're staying in Cameron House, blah, 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 there's my speedboat, take it whenever you want and all this stuff. So uh, it's a shame. Uh, uh, what happened in his life mm. but uh, to be honest most of the things he did to himself as well but I have a lot of time for Paul and uh, great great guy just a couple of lesson, uh, questions left George one of which is in about 156 games for us in the league you scored 58 league goals what is it that made you find the right formula to be a midfielder that can get a better goal to game ratio in the league than some strikers to play in a good team to play in a good team <laughs> is that the right you know no i had a wonderful team around me all the time and, and, and they've always brought me into positions where i could use my strengths and that was uh, shooting on goals as well and you can't do that without the team around you so. That's fair enough. And did you aspire to play for Rangers before you actually joined the club? You told me just now I have to say yes. There we go. Fantastic. <laughs> and finally, George, the last question is why did you leave? Why did you leave Rangers? Well, obviously, uh, uh, everybody knows about the rumours about Advocat and all that stuff. But we didn't yes. go on well with each other. And I thought, uh, well, I always had the feeling I was not well liked with him. Mm. So I had to make up a I mean, decision. Amoruso had the same. So, I mean, clearly it wasn't just you. And a lot of players did feel messed about by him but he did give us great success at the same time so uh, I always said that as well uh, you know that was a personal thing between uh, him and me mm. but football wise coaching wise an absolutely fantastic coach and, and the success he brought to Rangers as well that proves it from that point of view uh, outstanding but personally uh, we didn't get on and what's the final score going to be today then Joel well we see you after the game oh, fair <laughs> enough. thank you very much thank you